Hey guys, Dutch here again with a video I'm going to call a Mythbuster. Uh, we're going to look at a commonly said thing within the MSF community and see if we can tear it apart with actual data, actual footage, and prove it right or wrong. So the one I'd like to take on today is whether or not killing a bunch of Gregs will add a whole bunch of damage to your war MVP status, right? So what I did was I have taken a video here. Look at this. I'm at the top of the leaderboard in damage in my alliance. And I've already been doing really good this war. Uh, I got 11.1 .1 million damage. And I put that in my spreadsheet because I'm keeping track of this stuff. And we're going to go ahead and go into this fight. And we're going to fight a 419k Drax as Guardians, right? With my 566k Symbiote. So I wanted to do a good punch down on this because I don't have to worry about like if I kill too many Gregs, if I sit around for too long, am I going to be able to finish the fight and get it over with? Um, so I figured this would be plenty of time to start it. Uh, so let's get into the fight here. So the first thing I do is I go into my profile here and I check each of the enemy characters health. Why? Because I believe damage is calculated off of the enemy's health not by the number of summons and heals and things that happen throughout the fight. In war, I'm pretty sure this is how it works, but just to be sure, I showed you everybody's health there and I put it in a spreadsheet off to the side here, which I'll show after the video and show the math. So what do I have to do? I have to get through this Drax and Sif first before I can get to those juicy yummy Gregs. Um, I got, you know, it's just how it is with this team, and uh, you know, you gotta get through those taunts and everything. And now, now that Drax is dead, I should be good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just, you know, keep, keep slow playing it here and killing a Greg. So there's Greg kill number one. We'll keep it going here. Uh, we got a few minutes of this, so bear with me. <laughs> Carnage looks like he's about to eat it, but we can't have that. Um, that would be sad. So there she goes into the stealth mode because of Loki passive. That's fine with me. Um, all right, there we go. Now we can go ahead and remove that heal block, get a little heal, and then now now we can heal back up and be super safe. All right, so there's like Greg kill like what five. Um, Throughout this, I was trying to figure out how much health Greg actually had because he doesn't show up in the profile to check. I think the lowest attack I did that one shot him was about 25k health. So he should have somewhere under 20k or so. This is only a 5 red hella, so not that huge. But there's Greg kills like 7, 8, 9, I don't know. There's a lot of Greg kills. Let's say they have 10k health. Let's say that. All right. So we killed about 10 so far, so that should be 100k health in addition to whatever we're getting from killing the rest of the Asgardians at the end of this uh, video. Spoiler alert, I don't lose this fight. <laughs> Got to keep my MVP chances alive, right? Um, there's 12, you know, it just keeps going. And there's 13. And, uh, yeah, I just go ahead and smash that guy, because why not? I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, if I kill other Asgardians, I can get more Gregs on the board, kill even more Gregs, right? You know, just kill everybody but Hella, right? That would work. Um, hey, you know, it doesn't really matter. I got a couple more minutes. So, yeah, just go ahead and break him out of stealth. And he goes right back into stealth, because, you know, why not? That's, that's what he does. I don't know, where are we at? Like 16 now? 17? I'm, I'm not really paying that much attention to the numbers. But anyway, there's a lot of Greg killing here. Lots and lots of Gregs getting killed. So uh, let's speed it up here. Let's fast forward a little bit. They kill some more Gregs. Uh, I go ahead and finish off uh, Loki and Sif just because now there's more Gregs to kill. And I figure, well, you know, I can just start the wailing on Hell a little bit. Get her down. She's just going to heal right back up. This also illustrates the whole, oh, hey, you know, what happens if you do, you know, 100k damage to Hella and then kill a bunch of Gregs and she heals all the way back up, right? Does that count as damage or does it not? You know, am I overkilling with damage here quite a bit? And then do I get the points from it? That's the real question because I've heard this myth perpetuated quite a bit. And uh, people have told me about it. It's like, oh, you got, you know, 15 million points in damage in a war. You must have been killing, you know, lots and lots of Gregs or something. Like, like it's, it's this thing. So since we're under a minute here, I just opt to finish it off. Uh, we'll, we'll kill a couple more Gregs because why not? Um, <laughs> got, a, got a minute here. Um, can take out Hello whenever we need to. And uh, I just opt to go for it now and just hit her a couple of times because why not? Uh, there's also Gregs on the adjacent attacks, so, you know, we're at, like, what, 25 Gregs now? I'm, I'm not even really counting. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and slam them all. There's four more, so let's call it 30 Gregs, right? 30 Gregs at, say, 10k 
piece should give me 300,000 extra uh, hit points of damage and um, that would help with my war MVP chances, right? So the idea is if you can do that and just you know, do it for four and a half minutes and then finish off the fight and win, um, you could greatly improve your MVP chances, especially if you got a really big Hella because the big Hella is going to have way higher uh, base hit points on those Gregs. All right, so what do we have here? We ended with 12.109 million. So I'm going to switch here back to my uh, Chrome. And if you can see here, um, oh, let me move it over. I already put in all the numbers here on the side. So check this out. So before my attack was 11.132702 damage. So 11.13 million in damage done prior to that attack. After I did 12.109 million. So that is a difference of 976,000 hit points. When I was taking down the hit points of each character prior to doing that fight, I got 179k, 178, 147, 229, 243 for each of them, right? And that totals 976k, 658. So that is exactly what I would expect to get as far as points go. Because the way that war points or are war damage points are calculated is it's just simply what is the max number of health that a character has at the start of the match and then add all that up and basically whatever damage you take away from that that's what you get so if you kill them all you get the maximum amount of damage which is their full health points uh, if you kill like one of them and the rest have full health well then you'll get the points for that damage right so just in case <laughs> that wasn't um, enough. I've also got another one I can show you where I take out a Marauder, or a, yeah, I take out Marauders with Minerva team. So let's switch it back here. Uh, where's my VLC player? Uh, oops. There it is. All right. So let's go back here and same thing, doing the same stuff. It's uh, 4.7 million and whatever change in damage um, left over. I go through, um, let's just speed this up. So it's, a, I'm sorry, I should show you. It's a uh, 500 or 667k Marauder team. I'm hitting it with Black Order, which, you know, is obviously an easy win. Uh, but just to show ahead of time, I did go through and check my numbers. I grabbed the health from each of the enemies. So 490k for that Minerva, that's a lot. Uh, 574k for that Emma. 430k from Mystique. Uh, 506k from Sinister. And then uh, 405k from Strife. So if you want to see this, this is an easy fight. It's really not that interesting. But I basically go through, I kill them all. There is a clone that is made by Sinister, and it's actually Thanos. So if it's a Thanos clone with a lot of red stars, you'd think that would have a couple hundred K health to it, right? So if clones, for some reason, counted towards the damage stats, then that would be a pretty good indicator that, you know, there are 2.4 million health would be the max plus whatever the clone's health, uh, health was, right? So it'd probably be more like 2.6 or so. Um, but we just don't see that. It's the same thing. Spoiler alert, all right? You know, <laughs> we don't really need to watch all this. <laughs> but it's just kind of funny to think about, like, people have been saying this, and it's just not true. There's nothing to it. There's no, there's no reason to think that clones or summons or whatever would add a whole bunch of damage to your war stats, um, or at least not without any evidence to back it up. And that's what this is this is obvious evidence i am you know beating these guys and uh showing the exact number i would predict prior to the match and after it and seeing those numbers and so there's really no way that anybody is getting anything out of this by just sitting around for four minutes killing gregs or whatever or letting them heal up and uh then coming back and finishing them off later it just doesn't make any sense i don't know why people spout this off but it is wrong it is absolutely busted kablam it is just not there so uh i'm gonna skip ahead here a little bit um you're going to see him kill Emma, and uh, he's going to whack her right off the side of the map. This is kind of cool. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. You're not done. You're not done, Corvus. Poker. There you go. <laughs> All right. Easy win there. And just to show, showing my work, 7.192 million is what I would expect. And we'll just go right back here to our spreadsheet. And you can see... 
starting 4.785, ending 7.192, difference of 2.407, 440 da uh, damage for my totals. And what was the total health of all those characters I just fought? That was the exact same number. Clones don't matter, Gregs don't matter, nothing matters except for the characters that the enemy placed in that room. Those are the people that count towards your damage points. Kill them, you get those points. Don't kill them, you don't get those points. That's it. It's pretty much it. So whatever damage you do to their health pool, that's what matters. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. I don't know why this myth gets pouted around, but uh, tell people to uh, come check out this video if they tell you that. Or just tell them they're idiots. I don't know. I mean, it depends on how you feel that day. Um, maybe you didn't have coffee in the morning. You're just a little, little uh, sharp around the edges. And uh, you just want to be a jerk to them. And you can do it with the full satisfaction of knowing that you are right that this doesn't do anything and it's a pointless waste of time and it's a really stupid rumor. So anyway, hope you all learned something. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.